Flylo Flight 475 has just touched down, and the customer service desk is about to receive another onslaught from regular passengers, Peter and Judith. Right! I'm going to give that woman a piece of my mind! Judith, please calm down! No, Peter, I will not be becalmed. We have had, and I never thought I'd utter these words, the holiday from hell. By way of apology for the previous debacle, Flylo offered us a very good deal on a package holiday to Colombia. Now, as soon as we came out of Bogota... As soon as we came out of Bogota Airport, Peter was bitten by a rabid dog. Within minutes, he was howling and foaming at the mouth. My first thought was, can I have Peter put down? I looked into it. Well, the doctor said it was unethical. Yes, thank you, Peter. But the doctor said it was unethical. Peter became more and more ill. I had diarrhoea and was projectile vomiting. Peter, don't be so cruel. Sorry, Judith. Peter had diarrhoea and was projectile vomiting. If you'd spun him round, you'd have thought he was a Catherine wheel. So we decided... So that I best... decided that the best course of action was to take the first plane home. Now, while we were waiting at the airport, a very charming man called Carlos approached me and offered me $5,000 to take his briefcase through customs. I had reservations. Peter had reservations, but we were saving up for a loft conversion, so I said yes and gave the briefcase to Peter to carry. Well, we learned it in England. Peter, if I could just get a word in edgeways. Sorry, Judith. I should hope so too, Peter. When we landed in England, Peter was stopped at customs. They searched the briefcase and found 20 kilograms of cocaine with a street value of half a million pounds. Peter was arrested and is looking at a prison sentence of no less than 12 years. If I had to make the holiday out of five, I'd struggle to give it more than three. Every day, thousands of items of luggage pass through the airport. They are sorted by handers like John and his son, Terry. Now, nah, this ain't the easiest job in the world, this. Uh, all people do is moan about us, don't they, Dad? Yeah. They say we're always on strike or always stealing stuff from the luggage. Yeah, but if we're on strike, we can't be stealing stuff from the luggage, can we? And if we're stealing stuff from the luggage, well, we must be at work. So the idea that we're always doing both at the same time is just not true. Yeah, people moan that their bags always end up in the wrong places. See, the thing is, if we're supposed to get a bag on a flight to New York and we miss it, we just sling it on a plate to Delhi. Then at least that way, the passenger's got the peace of mind of knowing that their bag has left London. Yeah, and the cases are getting heavy up. Oh, yes, yeah, a nightmare. Some people can't go abroad without taking the kitchen sink nowadays. Well, I ain't a problem for you. You don't lift no cases no more. Nah, I put me back at 2003, so I don't lift no bags no more. Nah. Now, I'm lucky not to be in a wheelchair, me. Yeah, you was only lifting an umbrella. Yeah, and a wooden handle, though. Sick and sod. After Jackie's outburst on the plane, she and Simon have some news. Yes, I decided that the best thing to do was for us to separate. Well, actually, I said it first. Yeah, but I thought of it before you said it, so technically, Simon, it was my decision. Yeah, I mean, we're still working together, obviously. Uh, we're still living together. We've only got one bedroom, so we're still sharing a bed. The only difference, really, is that we're not physically intimate with each other. Well, we haven't been for five years anyway. No, so I've just started dogging. Really? Yes. It's very nice. Where did you do that? In the cul-de-sac. What, and other people are there having sex? Yes. We're all having a gay old time. Anyone I know? I don't know. I've only seen them from waist down. Also having lunch are the passengers on Fergal's Our Lady Air Flight. We're flying to Rome today, so I put in a special food order for all the wee Italian folk on board. For starters, we need melon with palm spam, then spaghetti hoops, and for dessert, a cornetto. We were meant to have some nice Italian red wine, but it didn't arrive, so I'm just giving everyone a card in Arabina. Right, who's ready for lunch? Will you be dining with us today? Will you be dining with us today? Uh, yes, please, but they ordered a special meal. That's right, 17D, Mr. Ahmed, yes, I have it right here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I ordered the halal meal. What have I given you? You've given me a kosher meal. Well, it's all the same, isn't it? No, no. Uh, halal meal is for Muslims and the kosher meal for Jews. I think you'll find there's only one true God, and that's a Christian God. Enjoy your meal. Will you be dining with us today? Will you be dining with us today? Baggage handlers at the airport have their part to play in keeping air travel safe. 
things I like to do is carry out my own personal security checks. It's not part of our official remit, is it, Dad? No, boy, but I feel it gives the public peace of mind, you know. Right, what we got here? Yeah, that one looks good. Which one? Yeah, the Louis Vuitton, yeah. That right. One, yeah. right. Okay. Oh, it's got a lock on it. Ah, that's no bother. Get on that. There we go. Right. Get that there. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Yeah, you see now, very common is the laptop. This could have illegal images on it, so we'll uh, take that home for further analysis. Right, what else we got? Oh, hello. Gucky. Now, the thing about the shoes, you can have explosive devices in the heels, so uh, we'll also take them home. Plus, they're my size. Ha-ha! <laughs> Here we go. Very common problem, this. The iPod, yeah. Now, you're not allowed to have these on on takeoff or landing. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to use it. It'll be in the hold. Right, the principal, son. Right. What have we got in here? What's it? Chain L, pour on. No, you're not allowed liquids on board, so, uh, yeah, we can set that down there. Oh, it's an aerosol in here. You're not allowed them. We should take that out. Hey? We're not going to get nothing for that down the market, are we? Silly sod. Right, that one's good to go. Right. The early morning Our Lady Air flight from Cork has hit turbulence, but cabin crew member Fergal is quick to reassure his passengers. Hello. Is your name Holly? Your mummy tells me you've been feeling a wee bit scared, is that right? Yeah, she just gets a little bit frightened, especially with all the turbulence. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. That's just like a wee little pocket of air, like driving along a bumpy road. Yeah, you see? Yeah? Mm. And I've got somebody who's going to look after you. Would you like to meet him? Yeah? Hello, my name's Brandon O'Bear. I'd like to be your best friend. Oh, <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. Mm. 35 year old. There you go, that's gate 11, OK? Who's next, please? Meanwhile, back at check-in, it's a very special day for this happy couple. Where are you flying to today? Disneyland! Oh. Los Angeles. We're getting married in Disneyland! Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Right, just need to ask you a couple of security questions. Did you pack the cases yourself? Yes, we did. Unfortunately, we didn't receive any help from the seven dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> and do your bags contain any sharp objects? No, only the bare necessities. <laughs> We both love Disney, don't we, Jeff? That's all right. We've actually bought a personal DVD player with us so we can watch the Aristocats on the flight. We watched that one last night. Yeah, but you do actually have to watch the Aristocats more than once to really appreciate the nuances. It's a great film, the Aristocats. I shouldn't really like it because I am actually allergic to cats. Yeah, she comes out in a rash. But luckily, these are cartoon cats, so they never come out the screen. I'm telling you, when Bambi's mother died, I cried every day for a fortnight. I'm sorry, Jeff, I'm not putting myself through that again. Oh, look, can we go in there in case they've got something Disney? It's a chemist. Yeah, but they might have some Winnie the Pooh panty pads. Come on. Why do I like Disney so much? Mm. Probably because I'm quite sick. Ian Foote is the airport's chief immigration officer. His job is to prevent illegal immigrants from entering the UK. Working in immigration, you do sometimes get labelled with the racism tag. I do take my job very seriously, but I'm not in any way racist. In fact, one of my best friends is friends with a man who's black. And he's very black. Whew. Oh, yeah. Man, he's black, yeah. Earlier today, Ian stopped a passenger at Passport Control, whom he believes is trying to gain unlawful access into the country. Do you understand why I have brought you here? No, I don't. Well, it's clear to me that you've got a forged passport. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a forgery, all right. Very good one, I'll grant you that. But uh, there is one slight giveaway. And what is that? There is no such country as Liberia. Yes, there is. It's in Africa. Oh, in Africa, you say? It's on a map. Look on a map. All right. I will look on a map. Yeah. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, right. Liberia, you say? Yes. Yes. Right. You got a new one, Chris? Liberia. Right. Africa, Africa, Africa. Right. OK. So, Mrs. Mumbutu, would you be so kind as to point out the location of this so-called Liberia? There. A 
Oh yes, just hidden underneath the early own. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you in this time, but I would advise you in future to travel with a large atlas or globe so you can prove to people you haven't made up your country. Good day. This is disgraceful. Right. You are a very ignorant man. All right. I am disgusted by the way that I have been treated. Okay. May I leave now? Yes. You have insulted the people of my country. Yeah, I'm actually on my lunch break now, so anything else you say doesn't really count. Oh. I don't know what route, okay. Just...